Having spent a few days in Uluwatu, Bali, including getting attacked by monkeys and facing large crowds, my boyfriend Aidan and I decided to seek out a more relaxed island life destination. And so we took the ferry from Sanur to the small island of Nusa Lembangan. Give us an old quote, Aidan Carey. <laughs> I don't like quotes. <laughs> See what the breakfast can. After a very bumpy ride, we arrived in paradise. Hey everybody and welcome to Nusa Lembang and this is one of Bali's or Indonesia's best not kept secrets exactly but this is much more lower key than mainland Bali we got a boat out here today 30 minutes from Bali and you're with this just surfer laid back an ideal spot for a fisherman's friend who is this you ask I have the misfortune <laughs> I'm traveling around Bali with this man for the next week and a bit. This is my boyfriend Aiden. <laughs> Welcome to the vlog Aiden. Oh, yeah. And we're getting the local looking taxi here out to our accommodation. This is it now, pick up truck for life, country time. <laughs> I love this now. It's only about 10 minutes anyway. This looks so fair to be island life at its best, relaxed. Beautiful blue waters. Just looking good. We couldn't believe it when we reached our bungalow accommodation. It was a secluded spot with a gorgeous pool, perfect for relaxing after the journey. We explored the island on foot, admiring the small but intricate Hindu temples along the way. I must say, so far Nusa Lembangan is absolutely winning for beaches. This beach is called the Secret Beach and it's just a three minute walk from our wonderful accommodation with a beautiful pool, beautiful bungalows for a very good price as well. And just the whole vibe around here, it's almost like surfers, paradise, very laid back, a lot less developed than Uluwatu where we just came from in Bali and it's just so beautiful you can hear the waves crashing right here it's time for a swim everybody but look we have secret beach here and then you've got this cliff here this beautiful cliff and on the other side of this cliff you have one of the most famous beaches here in Nusa Lamangan which is Mushroom Bay Beach so we're going to check that out after this one The Wild Eden, dun, dun, dun. Bay Watch. Well, this is some spot for a swim here on Nusa Lembangan on Secret Beach. Oh, there are amazing waves here, and the water is the most refreshing we've come across yet. It's the first time you feel a little bit of a little bit of sharp cold, which you'd actually appreciate in this very hot and humid weather. Now, the only thing is, all the beaches we've been to so far here and in Uluwatu. They're quite rocky uh, underneath because there's a lot of coral here, which is beautiful to see, but it's pretty tricky to be swimming because there are a lot of rocks around. So if you have water shoes, bring them and just be careful with the rocks, but it's really, really beautiful. So we're just uh, sitting here now admiring the beautiful views. Doing his thing. He also likes cameras. 
So this arch here behind me actually separates this beach, secret beach, from Mushroom Bay Beach. Now earlier I rolled under here and had a look and got very sandy. Uh, I won't do that this time, but I'm gonna sneak the camera over so you can have a look. It's actually where we were earlier with all the boats. It's nice, a bit busier than this little cove, but um, a nice old spot all the same. Good morning everybody and welcome back to Nusa Limbangan. This morning we are on a mission to find some beautiful rock formations, more coastline. There's a really famous place called Devil's Tears here and I think there's not angel tears, there's another kind of tears anyway. Lots of tears involved in New Salambangan. So we're checking that out and we're walking this morning. It's about half an hour, very humid, but there's a lot to see along the way and it's really fun to just explore the island by walking. Google Maps has led us down the agricultural route this morning. We've got chickens, pigs, dogs. A fine sow. <laughs> a fine sow. Aiden feels right at home, don't you Aiden? Oh yeah. There's no <laughs> doubt in my mind that we went the wrong way. <laughs> Thanks Google Maps. But it's beautiful and every house here looks like a temple. It's gorgeous. They, I think they have temples in the houses. Not quite sure. I'd like to get a bit of context on that. But it makes for really nice uh, walking anyway. Crazy march. What is it Aidan? Absolutely cray cray. <laughs> Another day, another beautiful beach here in Nusa Lambang and this here is Dream Beach which is very dreamy indeed. It's about a 25 minute walk from where we were staying which is very close to Mushroom Bay. Honestly this island is so small that you can walk around a good bit of the coastline. Most people hire a scooter or you can also hire a bike. We tried to do that today but unfortunately our friend was uh, not there, the man in the shop. There were just bikes lying there so we couldn't get one but uh, we don't have enough time to re rent a scooter today because we're actually getting the ferry to Nusa Panita in the afternoon so we said we'd just go for a little stroll. It is beautiful. Again lots of rock, lots of coral under the sea so bring your water shoes if you're coming here and as well you can see there's a lot of storm clouds in the sky. We had a massive thunderstorm last night, thunder and lightning for hours, lots of rain. There have been some showers this morning but it's so sticky that it's actually good to just wash away a little bit of that humidity. Aiden is loving life. Not regretting any choices. <laughs> About five minutes down the road from Dream Beach, you'll find Devil Tears, one of the main attractions here on Nusa Lembangan. There is an entry fee, 25,000 rupiah. Not too dissimilar to something you'd see at home in Ireland, but with a different colour rock, possibly limestone, and it's eroded the rock away so that it makes a little cave. And it's beautiful, so there's a little walk that you can do along here. Let's check it out. <laughs> it's very wild here, very wild Atlantic way and uh, yeah the spray is very refreshing. I am enjoying just standing here to be honest in this heat. Beaches, Nusa Lembangan is full of beaches. You won't be short anyway. It's just started to rain here, so we're not going to go to this one. Uh, but there's a lovely beach club there called Sandy Bay Beach Club, I think. And then the beach itself seems to be called Sunrise Beach. So you might head down for the sunrise if you were that way inclined. We're still in the spot here by Devil's Tears. There's a bit of a peninsula walk, just a short one, where you can see the waves crashing. And it really is quite wild. This blowhole here is no joke. I just got absolutely soaked. This barrier, believe it or not, does not stop water. <laughs> Thank you. 
Before we knew it, it was time to take the ferry to Nusa Penida. I really think that Nusa Lembongan deserves more time. It has a laid back, relaxed atmosphere that could be hard to find in other parts of Bali. For us though, it was on to the next adventure. See you in the next place.